Okay, big exhale. <laughs> We're doing a closet. Y'all, it's the season. Fall, different clothes. I'm a big fan of keeping summer and winter in separate places. I just think it allows each season to breathe in your wardrobe and in your closet. Um, and it also gives you an opportunity to see really what you're wearing. I feel like when everything's packed in like sardines, you don't have an idea. One little sneaky shirt or blouse or something could be hiding in there and get past you. And I think that just having the opportunity to take a season and move it to some spare closet somewhere in your house, it doesn't matter where it is. It could be in your kid's closet. They don't, they don't need half the stuff anyway. As we all try to whittle down, mind you, this isn't about, you know, having too much and spreading it out, but it's about Letting things breathe in your closet so you really know what you have and what you're wearing. And I just find personally, it helps me keeping things separate. So anyway, we're going to bid adieu to summer and hello, fall and winter. I do find that some things can actually cross over. Maybe a summer piece that you have can cross over into a more fall style. But for the most part, we've got to get rid of things like super thin or short t-shirts, very light or silky blouses, denim that might be on the lighter side, white denim or pale blue denim, and make way for some of the pieces to come in, your sweaters and your bulkier pieces. Now here's the trick because you and I both know winter clothes tend to be a little bit bulkier. They're going to take up more room. So we've got to be really honest about what we're wearing and not overdo it. If it gets a little too tight in here, maybe things like bomber jackets or things that have a little bit more bulk can go to a coat closet or another place just to free up some space in here. So. The process is going to start with me moving a lot of stuff out of here so I can make space, see what I have, and then see how much room there is to put in the new winter. And it might mean consolidating, it might mean reorganizing a little bit. I'm a big fan of sections. So for instance, like this section right here, which is very much summer dresses, lightweight this whole section is going to go and it's my goal to have like all jackets and blazers in here for instance and there may be a little spillover into here but for it all just kind of thematically to make sense because i like system and order and for you know tops maybe to be on the top bottoms on the bottom apropos and then the long hanging over here so let's get cracking i encourage you to do the same I think the first part of the process, and you guys saw, and I can link to a previous video of just cleaning out things that I'm no longer using. And a lot of that was summer stuff. Um, in the other closet where I was storing winter, I already left a lot of things up there that I knew I just wouldn't wear again. Either I wore them so much last season or the past couple I've burned, I've burnt out or I didn't wear them at all. So they don't deserve a place in the closet. Um, so do that and get real with your stuff. I think that's step one is the purge. And then step two is going to be the system. And that's where I am right now. So welcome to step two. My other closet is on the second floor. So can I encourage you to find your other closet on the same floor? <laughs> Unless you want a really good workout every season. Hi. Ta-da, empty over there. Well, except for a couple things. You know, it's funny, I've seen some Instagrammers kind of brag that they've taken over the whole closet, you know, and their poor husbands have to go use some random closet in some other part of the house, which, I mean, all right, I can see how we can easily take over, but I don't know, I like my husband having his stuff and having that side of the closet. And it's, you know, nice seeing him in here and actually getting dressed together. So to me, this is just sort of a, a minor labor of love to be able to share the space and not overdo it and take over, which can sometimes happen. So this whole section, kind of shorter dresses, light summary. So this is the section where I'm going to be putting all of my blazers. Okay, so here is a part of the process where it starts to get a little bit more interesting because some things can stay. For instance, I'm going to keep 
a white tank and a black tank because it's just solid for layering underneath the jackets. Now, this one, this is a much lighter weight with a print. This I'm gonna consider more summer. Brown is in this season. This is old, 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 old. I mean, this could stay, again, for layering. A white t-shirt, probably not. Got lots of sweaters now. Lighter t-shirts out, out, out. I like to keep everything kind of color-coded. Now I do have, you know, a couple of rock t-shirts. Again, these are great for layering underneath the jacket. So this plum color, great for the fall. This orange one, not so much, nor yellow. This green is very pretty, but it's also super lightweight. Stevie Nicks, that could be good underneath the black jacket. Rolling Stones in gray, lightweight. So these are lighter tees to go underneath. Summer, 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 summer here, summer there. <laughs> ah, I saw that coming. Let me regroup. Summer, that's summer. Kind of like a white linen crop. I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence with this because this would be great. You know what, I'm gonna keep it because it's good underneath like a, um, a bomber jacket with leggings. That's lighter weight. <clears throat> jackets, so these are jackets that I've already started bringing down here. This one I don't wear much. This one's gonna make its way out. Okay, so a lot of this stuff's gonna move and I've got one more section to go through as well, but that's kind of um, the method to my madness. One more section to go with kind of silk blouses and let me offer my suggestions with that too. Y'all, I am spitzing. That's like the fifth flight of stairs. So this stuff's gonna be like a no-brainer. Lightweight silk cami, a couple of them in black. I mean, you could keep a couple, again, if, you know, under jackets, but here's what I find. Once the temperature starts getting cooler, it's cool outside and then you're in a restaurant and you want to take off your jacket and then you're freezing in a little cami. So I, I don't know. I just prefer to have warmth. Now there are going to be a couple of exceptions. These are all sort of silk. This is a fun, like little leather bustier top, which would be so fun with a pair of black jeans and a jacket on top. This one's going to stay because the material is seasonal. This is a little linen crop that's going up. This is interesting. This could go for winter. It's like a black lace, almost like a vest top. And then with a jacket over it, that could work. So I may just keep that here. And by the way, just because you decide to leave something doesn't mean it's here permanently. I mean, you can say yay for now and then realize a couple weeks in, you know what? It's not gonna get a lot of play. I'm gonna go move it in the other closet. Okay, so again, lightweight, silk, sleeveless, you know, off the shoulder. We're going to Greece, remember that? Um, asymmetrical, more summer weight stuff, summer weight, summer weight. Okay, let me set this down and then let's talk silk blouses, okay? Okay, so back for this section. Um, here's how I'm going to decide. And again, it's primarily gonna be based on color and how much wear do I think I'll get. This blouse, for instance, great color for fall fall-like pattern. Again, could put a jacket over it. Same with this. You know, even though it's lighter weight, it's got a lot of browns in it and it can be layered and it's got sleeves. This is a silk blouse, but again, it's a nice chocolate brown color and I know I can get some use out of it. Same, animal print for fall, black, definitely. Here's where I say no. Yes, it's black, but it's kind of a um, lighter vibe, tied at the waist, very sheer. So probably not. This is a little bit more evening. So I'm gonna move that upstairs where I have um, more evening type clothing. A dark navy silk blouse. Sure. These guys, silk and a crop. I'm kind of on the fence, you know, in, in Texas, I mean, we can get down to the 50s at night and 70s during the day. So something like this can work. So this may work for the next month or so, but come December, these will be out. So again, you know, you can always switch things later. I have a bunch of kind of off-white silky blouses. They're gonna go up, super sheer. All kind of the off-white ones, white silk will go up. I will keep one white button down in the closet. Again, perfect for underneath a black blazer. Summer jacket and a little fun top. Okay, so that sort of 
cleans out and thins out that section. So what I'm gonna do is you can see I've got some jackets over here. I'm going to move these over to the jacket section, bring in some new jackets. I'm gonna bring the lighter weight blouses and I will put those over here next to the lighter weight clothing. So it's gonna go from tanks, t-shirts, button downs, blouses, and then we're gonna move into sweaters. So it's, you know, again, I, I like to have themes. <laughs> Pack upstairs for the sixth time. Excuse me. Okay, so longer shirts over here. Okay, extra hanger I'm gonna pull here. Alrighty, so these guys, these were the lighter ones that I did keep, like a little bustier top, two of those, and something to go under the jacket. I'll put those next to my tank tops. Okay, those are there. And then the tees. And then I'm gonna do, let's see, casual, casual, casual. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna move the silk over. Okay, everything's got some room. Let's hope it stays that way. I like it. Next will come, I may do more moving around, more kind of like long sleeve tops like this and then sweaters. So let me kind of think about how I want to do that and I'll bring them in. Okay, a couple of solid pieces, solid black, solid, solid, kind of lightweight and then some flannel pieces here. So for now, I'm just gonna put the flannel over here since it's a little bit heavier. The solid black, they're kind of like these. So I'll do that. I'm gonna change out hangers because I like hanger uniformity in the closet. Sweaters. So I'm just gonna plop them in right now and then organize a little bit later. And I will do them from light to dark eventually. Okay, this is the last of the sweaters. Okay, these are vests. These I'm gonna put on this side. This is fun, got this at a resale store. Long time ago. When in Rome, right? All right. Let's analyze. These are the lightest. Now we're gonna go into the whites. I think my next thing will be the sweater vests. You know, I'm inclined to put them here, but I don't wanna overstuff this area. So I'm gonna keep it here. Okay, beige, black, and now sweaters. Also lightest weight to heavier weight. You come over here, your short sleeve. You're the heaviest. You are light. Heavier black taupe will come in here. And then this is more of an evening. Remind me not to buy another neutral colored sweater because <laughs> this one's joined in the back. <laughs> but it's, you know, it's, it's good, I think, when you um, organize by color because you get to see what you're buying too much of. And I am drawn to neutrals and I am drawn to blacks. I've gotten really good about black. I've purged a lot, but I still hold some. But this is um, at least a better balance, I think. Okay, looking good. This part, I'm a little nervous about because I've got a lot of blazers coming, so let's tackle that next. Okay, um, some of these I might put over here and some I might put farther down. I've got a long hanging section here, so here's my issue. This is like a a pant suit. So it's a blazer with a pant and I've got it folded. And if I can get it all fit in here, it might be good. But again, I don't wanna over cram. So let's just see. I can always move things over a little bit. Yeah, it's gonna get tight. Okay, so let's do this. Blazer, 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 blazer. Pant suit, pant suit, blazer, pant suit. Okay, we're making serious progress and almost done. So I've got blazers in here, blazer, 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 blazer. Then it starts to get a little bit bigger, darker, color-coded, heavier, heavier, 
And then I start getting into the different colors. So multicolor, red, pink, denim, khaki, khaki, beige, white, white. So this is sort of the lightest and then it gets into the warmest and heaviest. Um, and it makes sense. And then I moved over here in this section. These are where I'm putting the pantsuits. So I had enough room. I've got the pantsuits here. And then I'm going to bring in here now some longer stuff. I've got the rest of this section basically right in here. And this whole section here for like all of my boiler suits that I love to wear in the fall or any type of a longer type dress. They're gonna go back here. So I'm gonna get those and we're gonna wrap it up. And then a few things get pulled from summer and things will be able to breathe. The other thing that I'm starting to do is I'm starting to turn everything in my closet now facing me this way. Because when you're toward the left of you, you want to be able to pull it out and see the front of something. Whereas if it's to the right of you, you want it facing inward like so. So I switch it at about the midway point in my closet where from the front to about here, everything's facing in. And from here, it all faces in from the left side, if that makes sense. It's like folding in, folding in. Again, this section with the pantsuits and then denim, 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 and then um, kind of the knit loungewear. Um, I could theoretically fold it and put it in my drawers, but in these drawers I've got sweatpants, sweatshirts, and it's, you know, to me this is a little bit more elevated, a little bit more street, so I'm going to keep it hanging because I, I like it. And I think, you know, as I've shown with the blazer over it, you can, you can dress these up a little bit. But everything fits and it breathes which is awesome and last section and there's not a whole heck of a lot because who wears, you know, a lot of dresses in the winter except for sweater dresses. We're getting back into the depths of the closet here. Okay, so I'm gonna hang according to sort of weight and material and how much skin is showing. So, okay, I saved a couple of things here. For instance, this is sort of a heavy knit kind of a tank dress and I'm keeping it because it's great on a date night with my hubs. You know, if I wanna have something kind of fun and sexy, I can put a jacket over that. But I do need to turn it this way. Now, this may surprise you. This is a dress that I got in Greece and I'm gonna keep it because you can do something really fun with stuff like this. You know, if, if it's dark and, and if it covers enough, I can do a black bomber jacket and black combat boots with this. And that suddenly takes a summer dress and it makes it winter. But I most certainly couldn't do it with like a light color, floral, very airy type of a dress. It has to have a little bit of weight to it and more of a winter color. So I am keeping it. And then something like this, like a knit jersey, you know, perfect because again, you can um, put a jacket on it and it's knit jersey and I've got another one in gray so you're going in and then I have like a little leather section here leather skirt two-piece and then some sweater dresses super cute and things are going to start getting a little bit longer sweater dress longer sweater dress longer sweater dress you catch my drift and as you can imagine, everything past this is probably gonna be black. I wasn't kidding, <laughs> but I have gotten better. This is like a duster that can drape over anything. I'm gonna put it all the way to the back because it's the longest. This is an asymmetrical dress, so I have to hang it. And then just knit, black knit. As apparently you can never have too many black knit dresses. I promise you there will be fewer next year. And this little sneaky sucker is a blazer dress. So, I'm just gonna put you here because there's room even though you know what I want it with my blazers I just feel like you belong with the blazers and I feel like this leather piece belongs over here it's a jacket now I'm contemplating oh my goodness there is room wow the last little bit and I've been really good at keeping all of this sort of seasonal the only thing I will do is white jeans pale jeans white jeans they will go up everything else will stay I have 
for the most part, I, I double hang. So I've got two pairs of jeans on a hanger just for space and I'll do it according to style. So two wide leg, two skinny jean, um, you know, just for uniformity that way. Light goes up, all my darker ones. I've even kept a couple of skinnies down there um, only because if I've, you know, got a look with like riding boots and blazers, I still think you can wear skinnies and tuck them into riding boots. So that's good. And then, you know, just summer weight skirts, just lighter skirts are going to go. Other than that, everything else is a keeper. Yeah. And then again here on this side, like my black vegan leather leggings, I've got two on a hanger, two leggings on a hanger, two, you know, black slacks. It just saves so much space doubling them up like that. So I'm, I'm a big fan of that. And just keep it again, thematic and you will be good to go. I even like to evenly space my hangers. So yeah, I'm that person. <laughs> this girl is whipped, but this closet is done. I did not have to really do anything with the shoes because the way I did my shoes in the middle, just because of height, I've got more of the summer stuff in the middle, but all the boots are to the left. So that stays. The one thing I did do, and I want to show you this, I find, you know, my summer hats are up there and in the summertime, you know, I'll wear a hat if I'm doing a long walk or especially if I'm on vacation, but in the wintertime, I love a hat to lock in a style. I think winter hats are so cool from fedoras, to knits, to berets. So I'm putting them down here on the bottom shelf where I can see them because if I see them, then I will actually think to wear them and use them. So, you know, kind of like cute little knit hats by the knits and stuff like that because, you know, why not? And um, hats are just amazing accessories this time of year. So if you shy away from hats, please don't. Um, I will encourage you, if you spend any money this season, get yourself, get yourself some cool hats because you'd be, you'd be amazed at how they can really, you know, add to your style and create a look. We were talking about that in Monday's podcast about kind of creating your own signature look. And a hat is a great way to use an accessory and really say, hmm, you know, that's Sue or that's Betty or that's Dominique or that's whoever because you just rock a certain hat. So anyway, happy winter. <laughs> Happy fall organizing. I feel really, can I just say how, um, how good I feel in this closet. It feels great knowing that I have everything here that's now at the ready for the cooler temperatures, which I'm so loving and enjoying. You know, I love it. And granted in Texas, we, we get relatively mild winters until January. And then we have, you know, ice storms up here in North Texas. So it's craziness but I'm ready for the season. I'm organized. I feel good, but I hope this inspires you to A, clean out and get rid of things that you are no longer using. Repurpose those, donate those, bring them to a charity. Um, there are so many, so many great thrifting opportunities. So please, please just get real. I can't tell you how much I have purged over the last, shall I say, three years. Maybe, you know, half if not more if not more and I continue to do it because I just you know we just don't need all the stuff that we have and I want to get better about it and I want to be mindful about it and just you know make smart purchases when I do so uh, there's that and then enjoy just having a system having organization, having, you know, some color coding um, from lighter to warmer. It just helps. It helps when you're getting dressed in the morning. It helps when you're trying to figure things out. Um, if, you know, you're one of those where you figure out a really good outfit and a good pairing, keep all of those things together. Um, whatever works for you. But I just, I enjoy having a system and I like uniformity and I like clothes that can breathe where I can actually see what I have. And I encourage you to do it. Don't pack it in like sardines, you know, don't make a mess of it. Don't dread walking into your closet because you'll just look around and you'll say, I've got nothing to wear. And you and I know better. That's not true. You do. So find it, find what you love 
and make it look pretty. So thank you for joining me on this winterizing of the closet and uh, getting it ready for fall. I hope it inspired you to do the same. I thank you for being here. If you have any thoughts for future fall videos, I'm all ears. Two ears, one mouth, which means I listen more than I speak. I know it's shocking since all you see me do is speak, but I'm a really good listener. So lay it out. Thank you for being here. Go out, be bold, be blessed, enjoy. I love you. I'll see you next Thursday.